A few days ago, this clip from an LTT lab tour got a lot of attention online. The difference between us and somebody like Gamers Nexus or Hardware Unboxed is we test new components, new tests every time. And then Hardware Unboxed tweeted dissatisfaction with the statement made in that tour. We didn't say anything at all, anywhere. Even though it's not actually true, they don't collect new data and new tests every single time, and it's not always necessary anyway. So when Linus went on the WAN show, we hadn't gotten involved. Linus responded well, to Hardware Unboxed on the WAN show and then said the following. There's a fair number of people that are talking about well, yeah. the, the whole Trust Me Bro situation. Linus exposed. Uh, where there were some creators that it seems like you guys are look <laughs> just say it everyone knows you're talking about us it's pretty clear that not everyone in the creator space handled that super professionally um i i, I don't obviously agree with some of the takes that were out there i i don't think that it's particularly um journalistic for example to well, ignore facts um to ignore personal relationships it is my job to ignore personal relationships yeah you know, if lmg is going to make false accusations and wants to try and use personal relationships to gain favor so that we don't cover something we think is not okay it's not going to work with us we, we don't play that game the first clip from an LTT lab tour caught our attention, but it itself isn't worth commenting on. We have guys, what the fuck is this even about? Something wider in scope we want to comment on, and it's simply that we believe LTT or LMG is rushing too much to hit arbitrary and largely self imposed deadlines that are causing frequent and sometimes significant data errors and information errors. Uh, and this conflicts with the ramping marketing surrounding accuracy and data-driven objective reviews that they're pushing for from LTT Labs. So we've decided to turn off all YouTube monetization here. We will not be placing a sponsored ad in this video. Uh, we we're just going to report on serious concerns that we have with LTT and bring some awareness to these critical issues. We've been thinking on this for a few months now. We have a few- Is this metal part drama? A few main points of discussion for today. They span from raw data that potentially misleads consumers, even if unintentional, accidental, that counts too. Uh, and we have some ethical concerns and corporate connections that we want to talk about, including great ethical concerns regarding LTT's inaccurate testing and misrepresentation of a small company's prototype, followed by the auctioning off of that prototype, despite the company wanting it back for other media and not granting permission for the auction. Also, we're concerned about ethics issues regarding LMG's recent review of the Ponage mouse, where they failed to notice that there was protective tape over the Teflon feet to knock the friction coefficient of the mouse, followed up by a pseudo-correction wherein LMG fails to take full ownership of its mistake and instead blames the product for not hand-holding them through the process of removing said tape. But we'll start with the simpler stuff and then come back to this. So the marketing is uh, strong, but um, exiting just entertainment and entering technical data-driven reviews and marketing on the back of that means that there okay, needs yeah. to be proper work to yeah, that, that was valid. back all of that up because people are now putting a different level of faith in the material coming out and the expectations are different. Uh, and we know these issues at LTT in terms of the, the rushing, the uh, pushing employees and staff to hit deadlines despite concerns with the data or the collection of the data. We know that these come from top down as shown in a recent LTT interview that it conducted with its own employees, where well, many of them no. stated concerns well, with yeah, content yeah. quality pertaining to restrictive time constraints. Let's publish less videos. Guys, what do you want Aiden? Guys, what do you want about Aiden? I don't think, guys, guys, I'll only look at this once, and if you guys baited me, I'm done. Fucking weird. All right, chat, your rage's video, I already reacted to it, but we're going to re-re-re- re Are you dumb, chat? Okay. But chat, before we do, I got to pee. I got to take a quick piss. I just got to pee real quick. You're so fucking dumb, chat. You're so dumb. I wish we could back off 
the amount and focus on Oh my god, he's a dad! Quality for a bit. Uh, more time for projects would be good. Just allow us more time to work on a video. We never have time think for them. retrospection. It's always just, that's out. What's the next thing? Would be nice if the pace was lessened a little bit. Have time to like debrief or look in the rear view mirror at how things went. I don't love that we have to release so many videos. I don't know what our current count is weekly, but I know it's very high. Very rarely am I particularly proud of a video I've worked on. And Linus's own comments recently reinforced that the company is still weighing carefully the impact of spending another half day of work on something to get it right, rather than just shoving it out the door incomplete or potentially wrong but it was okay. designed for a 3090 Ti. Well, we went for gold and we tried it with a 4090. The temperature results were bad. It was clear that it wasn't making perfect contact. And, and so Adam was the writer on that project. What Adam asked is if we could spend more time, put the 3090 Ti on it and get real results. And what I told him was no, because, and guys, come on, like for real, okay? Huh? It's eight hundred us dollars i i don't know guys i'm not sure if i can apologize for not spending another 100 200 300 500 dollars of various people's time and that's an important indicator of mindset that comes from ownership of the company we'll come back to that clip later though huh they are rushing and this rush is causing significant Wait. and frequent testing errors but more importantly it is clouding their ethical judgment and what i told him was no they are choosing to publish sometimes known bad or known incorrectly acquired data. That's different from a mistake. Okay, I get, I, I get it, I get it. So it's like unethical because they're running tests on certain on certain uh, systems, and they don't want to like uh, put more money onto the thing to just on another on another hey, GPU and whatever. All of us and do it in fact, the results make, or, yeah. or at least. But that's part of this topic too. And so given the knowledge of a lack of qualifications when known unqualified or the intentional forfeiture of quality and accuracy for quantity instead, it calls into question the motivations of the corporation and does in fact make it look to be bottom line centric. This is to hit arbitrary self-imposed deadlines and uploading scheduling whose end result is misleading for consumers and at some point, it is no longer an un- Chat, if this is true, I agree with that. Intentional mistake to mislead those consumers, such as with known shortcuts that reduce the accuracy of the content. Rather, it becomes intentional to do so because of the knowledge of that approach. We know some people won't like this video, and those people will leave comments enraged, citing drama as some sort of catch-all platitude to discourage this desperately needed conversation. It's their way of emoting, I'm uncomfortable, and- Okay. Um. Yep. The community is disturbing. What? Commentary of the product. The bigger issue here is that our initial correction, Epa. which was posted, said, hey, no, it, you know, is high friction, and we did test it, and there were no films on the feet. Ponage then tweeted publicly with an abrasive statement, but one for which we can't fault them. They point out the irony of being chosen as a gift for LTX's whale land attendees, despite the conclusion of the video being this. The only question that remains is, am I recommending you buy this product? No. This, we don't think, is about buying favor, but rather the dichotomy between being chosen what? and then having such an egregious error unfairly undermine the integrity of the product and its chief marketing point. LMG then eventually began the process of replacing the video in place once again, we assume this time with YouTube's trim tool. That'll take a day or two to process. They're cutting the section about friction, but this doesn't fix the... Pr I'm, I'm gonna fuck. When committing a robbery... 